am filming a healthy week in my life, productive week in my life, but this I'm gonna center it around getting ready for Mexico. So I leave for Mexico on Saturday and I really wanna show you guys how I prep, how I like work the week before. It's just gonna be a normal vlog, but I really wanna show you guys like the healthy stuff that I do um, because I'm so excited to go to Mexico for my friend Jess's bachelorette party. It's going to be so much fun. You guys probably know her, Jessica Howell, here on YouTube. I'm a bridesmaid and we're going to Mexico for a bachelorette and I'm just so excited. First things first, headed to the gym every single morning this week, Monday through Friday. So this is my workout outfit of the day. So the sports bra is from Aloe, obviously. These leggings are Fabletics obsessed with them i always wear these leggings when i don't have a thong so out of thongs like i'm doing laundry today and you can't see like the underwear line because of the pattern so pro tip if you don't have a thong just get leggings with a pattern and you won't be able to see your underwear line i don't know some people i know don't work out with underwear on i am not one of those people i can't do that i have to have underwear on like literally at all times i never go commando let me know if you're one of those people um before we go anyways i'm going to be drinking my little green juice that i drink I'm gonna take some vitamins really trying to stay healthy and let's just get to it i am also taking these two supplements so black seed oil and oil of oregano my mom just tells me to take them um whenever either i'm feeling sick or to boost my immune system and I definitely do not want to get sick before Mexico, so I'm going to be just taking these every single day. And apparently, like, when you're sick, you can take, like, um, I think a multiple of these in a day because it's for immune support, as it says on the bottle. I don't really know exactly what it does. I listen to my mom when she tells me to take these things, but apparently they're really great for your immune system and helping you not get sick. So just drinking my green juice. This has, like, a bunch of vitamins in it. And then also going to be taking these two as well. recording a podcast together so I'm really excited I have yet to be on her podcast and I really like it if you guys are interested in like working world podcast definitely check it out I'm trying to figure out which one is her house but anyways um today is such a beautiful day I'm gonna do work outside today because it is just so pretty wow I like cannot be inside anyways I think I'm here so I'm gonna buzz in and I will check in with you guys once I see her. I'm with Jordan. Hi guys. Oh, your camera is good. I, I got like the external mic. I so love that. that Except for that I would always look at the monitor. And I know. The lens. I know. It's like a struggle. Like I have to look directly at the lens. Yeah. But it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We just finished recording for Bitch Work Podcast. Yes. Guys, listen on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and actually anywhere. If you guys like my podcast, you will love hers because Thank people you. want, people like the more like I don't want to say like normal, but you know, the more like, oh, they are working a job that you would get after college right. and that you apply right. for. And a lot more people are interested in that, I feel like, in today's age yeah. because that's what most of us are doing. Right. So definitely check it out. She has so many cool guests on and I'm so honored to be one of the guests. I'm so honored that you wanted to be on it. Thank you so much for coming. I'm excited. I'll link it down below when it goes up. It'll go up by the time this video is up. So perfect. Sure. Perfect. Awesome. Another business where I'm helping people build their personal brand and also helping companies with like their marketing strategies okay, and cool. with their brand. So it's kind of like I work with individuals that are trying to like grow their YouTube channel or their Instagram to help promote their business or whatever that might look like. But then I also help other companies with like their marketing strategies and how to help with um, or how to like get the right audience for them. If that okay, makes sense. Cool. Like how yeah, to reach better reach their audience. Right. Cool. So how do you balance like influencer, YouTube, and then this other side of business? Like which one kind of takes the reins? Okay, guys, I'm at the most beautiful place to do work. I think I'm going to start doing work here more often, except this latte was $10, which is just 
kind of ridiculous. I actually think it's a record for the most expensive latte I've ever ordered because I gave tip because whenever you do like the iPad and there's like a tip option, I always give tip. Um, so the tip was like a dollar something, but besides that it was $10 and I'm just like, what the heck? That is the most expensive latte I've ever had, but I'm doing work out here. It's such a beautiful day in Manhattan. I'm in the meatpacking district on the rooftop of Restoration Hardware and got my laptop out here. I'm going to show you guys the view. It is stunning. It's days like this when I'm like, this is my home. What? Like, I cannot believe that I live in New York City. I'm so lucky and so grateful. And yeah, this is just like unreal. So I'm going to show you guys the view because you guys are going to die. It's so nice. Okay, so this is the setup. Got my stuff here. I'm like the only one out here. And then, wow, like what? This is so nice, you guys. If you guys want to come here, it's such a beautiful day. It is only like 50 degrees out today it's so nice and i'm just doing work here the restaurant is in there and it is so peaceful i cannot believe i live here like what is this tuesday morning welcome you guys and i just finished cleaning my room i'm in my workout clothes I'm gonna go work out but i actually have my laundry coming to be delivered and it has like a one hour time span of being delivered so i don't want to go in that one hour in case they come and then i can't let them in because my roommate's home but she's like about to jump on a call for work so i definitely have to be here um so right now i'm just using my time and going to clean my room i actually slept in today i slept in until 8 30 which is so unlike me i usually don't sleep in and i usually wake up at seven every single morning but today i didn't have that much to do so i was like i'm just gonna use my time to sleep in and rest and i normally don't get to do that so it was really really nice and now i'm just going to do some like apartment errands i'm gonna clean up my room vacuum the floors do all that good stuff and just have a morning i think that's what i'm gonna do i don't like eating before the gym so i'm still gonna wait to eat and like drink my coffee and stuff but i might just have some water my green juice my vitamins all of that good stuff and work around the apartment until they come pick up my laundry or until they come deliver my laundry and i really hope that it's soon because i want to go to the gym earlier rather than later <laughs> this is what i was doing in the meantime i'm gonna tape the bottoms down but and like push all of the pins in because they're sticking out but i just wanted to kind of align my wall so this is what it's gonna look like and then as i get more i'm gonna start like filling them all the way down the wall so i'm really excited for these my all my disposables some of them are from charlotte which is really special to me and then um some newer ones like from new york when i went to california so yeah i just really really like it i love taking disposables and my laundry came so now it is time to go to the gym before i get too tired <laughs> the gym and i made myself a smoothie a berry peanut butter smoothie it's so good um but i'm kind of in a cleaning mood right now so i'm kind of doing errands all day today until i have something at two so it's 11 30 right now and i'm just going to be cleaning up my entire apartment i really want to deep clean it sometimes this is kind of like therapeutic for me so <laughs> that's just what i'm gonna do right now just maybe turn on some music deep clean the apartment and that's the plan just made myself a lunch breakfast for lunch basically because i had a smoothie for breakfast eggs i'm trying to eat a whole bag of spinach in a week and this is only my second day and i'm already basically done with the bag so i feel like i did a pretty good job at that it's so easy i love spinach i just saute it with garlic and then add some like salt and everything but the bagel seasoning and it is so good i could eat this like all day long i think it's so good and then i just made avocado toast i used half of an avocado everything but the bagel seasoning, a little bit of salt, sriracha, drizzled a tiny bit of olive oil, and here you have it. This looks so good. Can't wait to eat it. 
just got off of a Google Hangout call. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse my like disgusting hair, but I just got off of a Google Hangout call with a potential new client. So I am expanding my services from individuals. Like I'm still doing individual one-on-one -on -one consulting, but I'm expanding it to influencer marketing and to hiring brands and businesses as my client, kind of building out an agency um, in a sense. So pretty soon I think I'm going to have to actually create a separate LLC which is not going to be fun but right now I'm kind of getting my feet wet in it and trying to build out my client list first to see how it's going to run seeing projections and how much do I think I'll be making through this how what is feasible and just kind of trying to plan out and built out this agency like I said it was a potential client and we were just talking about the business that she runs and then talking about what services I would provide and making it very very clear that that we align together so I'm kind of gonna create a pitch beforehand send it over to her by Friday so she can decide because she is deciding between influencer marketing agencies that have been around way longer than I have this would be basically like my first one um even though i've worked with in influencer marketing for years now it would be my first one like with this like agency title and it's just nerve-wracking but it's exciting and i really feel like i would be great at this and helping her out so i don't want it to fail i'm excited and nervous at the same time because this is just new territory for me but yeah, the call went great and now it is time to work because I need to present her something by Friday. <laughs> and I just got off the phone with her and it's Tuesday. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on this week. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday and I'm off to the gym like every single morning this week. I really am going every single morning. Normally the Wednesday point, I'm like, mm, maybe I'll skip today. But this week, I really want to go every single day because I'm going to Mexico on Saturday. And I know next week I'm not going to work out at all. So... I'm really excited to go to Mexico, so this is making me like excited to go to the gym. Let's see and let's get a move on. I am headed to Williamsburg. Actually, I'm in Williamsburg right now. About to go to Maddie's apartment and then I'm checking out the new wing location that just opened up here in Williamsburg. Uh, we're gonna do work all day. I have so much stuff to do, but I'm excited for it. I have one call and then I'm gonna do a bunch of work. I hope you guys can hear me because it's super windy, but it's such a nice day out in the city. And oh my god, I just I love it. It's so nice. So yeah, I'm gonna catch up with Maddie. We're gonna cook tonight, make dinner at her place, and I haven't seen her in forever, so it's gonna be so nice catching up with her. Green Chef for sponsoring this part of the video. You guys know that I love Green Chef. It is my favorite way to cook dinner. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and the meals include paleo, plant powered, vegan and vegetarian, which I actually got the vegetarian kit, keto, balanced living and family. So with Green Chef, it makes it so easy to eat in, which you guys know is kind of an issue that I have living in New York City. They do the grocery shopping and preparing for you and they just drop it off at your door. You can trust that they have clean ingredients and they're seasonal so they actually are fresh and for a total of $80 off plus free shipping go to greenchef.us slash nataliebarboo80 and click get started but I'm obsessed how good does this look I never cook tofu so this was fun for me to learn how to cook tofu here are our meals the tofu bowl it looks so good and it's so big too like we were just saying this is I feel like I'm not even gonna finish this this is huge so I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning. This week has gone by so quickly. Um, right now I went to the gym this morning, showered, got ready, made myself a smoothie, and now I am actually just doing some work. So I'm 
answering to emails that's the first thing that i do in the morning um that usually takes an hour because it's not just answering to emails it's also like follow-up stuff like i'm creating an invoice i'm picking out selects for this thing that i'm going to um i'm like looking up stuff to send to someone you know so it usually takes about an hour to just like actually answer thoroughly all my emails that usually takes like an hour then i'm gonna look at my calendar get to work but i just made myself a smoothie as my breakfast but anyways i'm excited today is not too busy of a day this week in general has been a lot slower which is really nice because some weeks i have weeks that are like go 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 and then other weeks are very like leisurely which is kind of like this week like i'm still working a lot but i'm not stressed out which is ideal so just gonna do that and then i'll update you guys with what i do afterwards it's a little bit later and i am finally making lunch i made the dinner last night with maddie and it was a lot of fun so it's perfect if you have a roommate and you want to cook with them if you are just living on your own or want to have it for yourself basically like what i'm gonna do right now is save this for tomorrow or for dinner but if you have a friend over you can also like cook with them and have it be fun so i really like it me and pranaya have done this before i've done it with other friends and it's just a really good like bonding experience too so right now i am making this chili it is bur berber chickpea chili i don't know how to pronounce it and i love soup and it's really cold outside today it's like 30 degrees so chili just sounds so good so i'm just gonna be using all their ingredients that they gave me it's so easy following the recipe card let's start cooking chili so i made some for pranaya too she decided to go the vegan route but i drizzled some feta cheese and some greek yogurt on mine and this looks so good i am walking to the wing right now oh it's kind of cold but it's not windy so it's very bearable i have a meeting with another potential client also just got off the phone with a client or with another potential client who has like a consulting company and would hire me on like contract like, me my, for some project work so i'm really excited this week was the week i made moves on expanding it to be more like an agency so i'm just really happy things are working out things are looking up and it's just inspiring me to continue to work on it and really like put myself out there because things like that don't just happen by you like being like okay i want to start this like clients come to me it's like you have to reach out like to all these people i have been the one reaching out and being like hey i think we can work together let's set up a meeting and then i'm the one just gonna cross the street i'm the one that's been reaching out so like if you're gonna take any advice from this just know that um okay just know that you have to be very proactive like things are just gonna come to you because you want them to so yeah, headed over to the co-working space and gonna meet up with them. Exciting stuff. Just got back from the wing, sat down, took a little break, took all my makeup off, and my skin is getting a little better, you guys, but it's still so frustrating. Like, I don't really know what it is because it's, like, getting better, but it's not fully gone, so I don't know if I just need to give it time because a lot of these are just, like, scars, but then I still get random whiteheads all the time, so it's really, really frustrating, but you guys have acne i completely feel you uh, i'm trying out so many products and like i don't really know at least it's gotten better it used to be a lot worse believe it or not but anyways i'm actually going to a cycling class tonight i totally forgot i had signed up for this and then i remembered so double workout day um i'm going to a place called sis cycling cyc cycling it's in chelsea it is actually a charity ride so it's an nc state versus unc charity ride which i'm so excited about because i like went to nc state and i feel like i am so far removed from it like i don't do anything alumni i don't even hang out with people really from nc state anymore like my roommate and i both went to nc state so i like hang out with my friends but like i don't ever reach out to anyone that went there um i feel like i don't have that much school pride <laughs> so i'm really excited to go because i loved nc state and like i think it's such a great school i would literally recommend it to anyone but i feel like i'm just not like a school per like a school pride type of person but brought out the nc state sweatshirt go pack and then gonna go to this um charity ride i feel like it's gonna be all unc kids though because there's way more people i think in new york that went to unc than nc state um i feel like nc state people don't come to unc or nc state people don't come to new york city as often as unc kids do because everyone at unc is in like finance so 
they all kind of come here but anyways going to ride there gonna meet with my friend Ernesto and then we're gonna get dinner so I'm really excited I haven't seen him in forever so I'm so excited anyways I'm gonna head off and head to the cycling event mm -hmm. 